The Prelude by William Wordsworth Summary of the Poem The speaker comes across a boat and uses its row into a lake at night, noticing the beauty of his surroundings. The boy, the speaker in the poem, is pleased with his skill in rowing and describes how he fixes his sights on a craggy ridge in the distance. As he rows into the lake, a peak behind the ridge appears suddenly, seeming to chase the boy for stealing the boat. Scared, the boy turns the boat around and returns it to its mooring at the side of the lake. After the event, the speaker is haunted by the experience and is unable to recall any pleasure or details of his trip. Key aspects of the poem Wordsworth uses a first-person viewpoint to convey the story directly and to enable the reader to empathise with the speaker. Much of the speaker's language is conversational, for example, the repeated connective and. Wordsworth uses personification of nature throughout, for example, led by her, which refers to the whole of nature, which personifies it as female. Phrases such as huge peak shows nature to be threatening. Wordsworth does this to try and show the power of nature and the belief that humans should respect their natural surroundings. The setting for the poem is the Lake District at night. Wordsworth presents the reader with realistic descriptions of the lake and its surroundings, reflecting the romantic movement's love of the natural world. He pays considerable attention to the night sky, whether above the boat or reflected in the water which creates a sense of openness and isolation. This sense of space and the sheer size of the open water and the sky enables Wordsworth to create a greater shock when the peak seems to rise up and the experience suddenly becomes threatening. Key technique of imagery. Wordsworth makes considerable use of figurative language to show the power of nature in the prelude. He focuses the speaker's attention on small details to demonstrate the beauty of tiny things, such as small circles glittering idly. In this example, Wordsworth chooses the adverb to emphasise how nature is beautiful in an effortless way. Later in the poem, the huge peak is personified to demonstrate the physical power of nature in a more forceful way, supported by the repetition of huge and the speaker's frightened reaction.